Hey everybody, welcome back to Infection Free Zone. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, I have good news and bad news. The good news is, they've released a patch for this game that supposedly fixes a lot of the issues. It also shows that they've rebalanced the game um, in many different respects. I don't exactly know what that means when they say rebalanced. Does it mean that they made it easier or harder and in which ways, etc.? They didn't give any details on that, but uh, it's... Uh, it's something that happened, right? So they're they're actively, you know, getting their game prepared for uh, for the release on April 11th. Bad news. The update is not compatible with old saves. I cannot load this save in that. Uh, I've got people unstaffed from the chemical plant. It's getting late in the day anyway, so I've got people unstaffed from the chemical plant, uh, and I'm putting them in the towers and stuff because remember we had that swarm that's supposedly coming at some point. Um, so just making sure I have uh, people over there. And uh, anyway, so they've released an update for the game. And I can't play it. Now, I'm not going to get mad about this, right? Uh, in previous, you know, save game compatibility and stuff is a very important part of development. But I can't get mad about this because this game is not released yet. I mean, this is I'm playing this before release. Right. And so when you when you have that situation happening, um, it's uh, it can, it, I, I can I can forgive it. Right. Because it's not like there's a huge percentage of their customer base or whatever. Or their player base is on existing saves yet. You know, that's not a thing. So I get it. It's fine. But it also means that I can't show you, you know, the newest version of the game anymore. Right. I can't do that. And I'd like to do that. Um, so I have a dilemma with that, and I have a question for you as well. Yeah. Would you like me to just continue with this old version of the game? Or do you think maybe we should start fresh with the new version, which I assume this new version is the release candidate version because it's close enough for that, but I don't know that. Uh, so it's very possible that, uh, you know, things get, well override it again i guess but we'll see i've got a lot of people here ready to go i got a new truck i got a car i got people who are going to be waiting over here we saw them coming in from this side is what it showed before so i'm going to assume that they're attacking from this direction and while we didn't get the wall done yesterday and we didn't get the tower uh fixed that didn't happen i'm hoping that you know since they come from this direction they that won't matter is what I'm hoping for. So we're going to get uh, some people here into vehicles. There we go. And we're going to get ready for whatever they got coming, either from this side or from this side. I'm not sure which direction they're going to be, but we're going to be ready for it. All right. Now, the goal, if they are coming through here, I'm going to put you guys like right here. The goal is always to spread them out, right? We don't want them all attacking in a big horde. We want them spread out so that we can utilize the maximum amount of our firepower at a time so i and, and that is difficult to do but we're going to use the cars if needed to try and separate them out and here they come and that is very bunched up that is a lot of them they are very bunched up and they are coming from multiple directions okay i don't want them hitting the side of the wall so we're gonna get this car over here first uh this truck we're gonna head over this way and see if we can't pull some of them away uh and then Oh, we got, we got visitors, don't we? All right, I'm gonna stick this truck right here. I got these guys to guard the wall as well as both towers and the and the and the uh, the gate. Um, I'll bring you over here just a little bit more so you can get the pistols on this side of the wall. And then I'm gonna take you guys out of here so you can shoot. And now I want this truck. Again, the, the purpose of the vehicles is to spread them out and make sure that they aren't all attacking us at once. And that's gonna require a lot of pausing. So if you're not into that, I apologize, but that is just. That's the strategy I'm trying to use here. So I'm pulling some of them. That's good. We're going to take this truck. We're going to move this direction with it. We're going to go like this. And then this vehicle here is actually going to move slightly. So I can try to draw them toward the gate instead of that empty space over there. So I want them towards the gate. So I pulled a little bit of them. A few of them away, right? That's good. I think I'm pulling these guys enough to where it's going to be on the gate now. That's good. All right. They're going to be on the gate now. See if I can pull some of these guys off the wall. We'll bring this truck back over here. Can I pull you off the wall? Come on. Come on. Get off the wall. 
All right, I, bring, I ran over some of them. That's good. All right, now we have a lot of people on this gate here. I'm going to slide a couple of these guys over this direction, but again, we want to pull them off the gate if we can. So we're going to take these two vehicles here. We got one more coming in that. So that's like one of those super dudes. So we want to take care of that guy too. Uh, let's get you back in the truck. We'll head you over here on this side. I think that's probably going to be more useful. We'll shift the rest of the team over this way. And then this truck needs to start pivoting. Yep, there we go. Pull them off the wall. Very good. All right, there we go. Spread them out. Make sure they can't attack everything. We're going to bring this pod over here towards this tower. If we can. And then I don't want this guy over here. So I'm trying to get his attention so I can bring him closer to the center. How much health is left on the gate? Looks pretty good. And this metal tower here. Yeah, we want to get this guys. We want to get these guys over by the tower as well as just in our firing squad. How's ammo looking? It's probably not great. The assault rifles are right here. Um, we're going to get you out of the truck, I think, at this point right here. Yeah, we'll get you out of the truck right there so you can shoot. We're starting to have some people run out of ammo here. Uh, the truck, let's move it this direction. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, it's a super. Whatever you call him, it's a big boy. Let's pull him off the wall if we can. There we go. Delay, delay, delay. Delay the walls going down. Delay everybody. There we go. Manage the pod a little bit here. Everybody behind the wall shooting. Very good. All right. It's pretty good. Yep, everybody shoots. Very good. All right, now we have some people with no ammo, and that's not a huge deal except if you're a pod like this. How in the world are you solo? How are you solo? Wait, what? You're behind the wall. How did you... I didn't lose anybody. Oh, you know what it probably was? No, I really don't know what this is. I never I never told them to split. That's really weird. We still have 91 people, too, so I haven't lost anybody. There's only one person left in this truck? Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened to all my people? That doesn't make any sense. I had four full squads. I didn't lose anybody. We're all behind the wall. Unless they were able to attack us through the wall, which, um, you know, obviously bugs, right? But um, they shouldn't have been able to attack us through the wall. That's got to be a mistake. I should have four full squads. I'm going to tell them to replenish. Go back and replenish these three squads. I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, you're fine. It's only one person without ammo. And somehow this squad has one person in it. I don't think that that's supposed to be the way it was. Okay. Well, I guess that's the way it is, though. I'm not sure how that happened, but we're going to pull them back a little bit here. Yep, we're just going to... Yep, yep. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, one thing I do hope that they decide to change, or I, I do hope that they change in the future for this game, is I really want them to remove that talking to me every time i click them it gets real old it gets real annoying i really hope that they decide to change that uh at the very least if i go into the settings voiceover volume split this so that i can have the calls coming in on the radio be really loud which is what i like and then have these guys be really quiet because like if you're gonna have that happen and you want that environment that's great but I want to turn these guys down and turn these guys up, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's why I have this so loud, because I, I want this to be, I want that to be up there. Uh, but it does get a little bit annoying if you're clicking things over and over again like that. So, yeah. All right. So we need to re replenish everybody. Go back to HQ, get your ammunition. Everybody re report back. We need to. Uh, the wall was not broken. So that's pretty good. We... Uh, I think it did an all right job of separating everybody out. Let's get everybody back to reload. Everybody comes back to HQ right now so that we can reload our weapons. Bring the cars directly over here. I don't need them to be super far away. I really do wish they would drive the vehicles closer to their destinations instead of stopping at the nearest road. Like, really just get it close to me. I don't care. It's driving like that is what I... is. I would rather drive there than to have them walk some more. All right, so we did all that before 10.30. <laughs> that was just before 10 30 at night it's crazy uh again i don't know what happened i still says i have 91 people but i i i don't know i thought for sure i had more people than that uh 
Yeah, so I'm going to have to pull people off the cookhouse. And then we're just going to replenish if we can. Nobody. Not replenish. Really? Okay, that was weird. So one can, one cannot. Is it like a... Is there like a certain condition that prevents me from doing that? I can't have like another person in this squad. Now I realize now I have zero, but I had six when I was clicking this and it didn't work. So that's a little weird. And now it's like I've got nobody in camp. Did people die? I don't think anybody died. This is a, a mystery. A mystery to be Ready solved, I say. Well, I'm going to pull people off of these two farms. Reporting. And it still won't let me replenish this. So maybe I come back out Let's do it. and then hit the button. No, it still won't allow this. Yeah, I cannot replenish the squad. Odd. I'm going to disband it. Ready for action. Uh, disband. Operator. Operator. Waiting orders. Ready for action. Reporting. Okay. Now, create a new one. Here we go. And I have, five, I have four more people. There you go. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how that happened. All right, everybody's reloaded now. So back to the original plan. Uh, we're going to head over to the gate here on that side. Uh, let's make sure we have a good vision of the other side too, though. Um, these This guy is going to go here. Uh, let's have you come over by the gate here. We'll have you head with the car. Take the truck with you. Uh, these assault rifles can report here. Uh, this We're going to grab the car with you, and then you guys are going to come over here behind the wall, too. All right. So, again, I don't know where they're coming from, but they've been coming from this side, so we're just going to be ready to go again. Let's get the truck over here by the gate, get the car over here by the gate, and we're going to get ready to draw them uh, away from things again, if we can. Uh, probably going to move you, shift you this direction just a little bit so we can cover the, the corner. Yep, shift you this way. Let's have everybody kind of shift this way. It's fine. All right. We'll stick our nose out a little bit. See if we can't get a, an extended vision on this side. There they are. Okay. How many are we dealing with here? Oh, my God. Uh, that's a lot. That's a bit. We got a few. We got just a few to deal with. We're going to see if I can't split them up. So, yep. There we go. Split them up. Perfect. All right. So, we got some heading this direction. Some heading towards this car. I'm going to see... I'm going to say if we can't just bring this pod this way and just delay them arriving. So I'm going to have that car go this way. And then the truck is going to come this direction. And we're just going to see if we can't bring them in. Here we go. Bring them in. And then they're going to get split up. Perfect. All right. This car. Again, you're just going to operate kind of like this. So we're just going to keep them away from us for a little while longer so we can deal with all these guys at the same time. We got a big horde attacking the wall on this side. See if I can't get the car over. Man, that's going slow. Oh my God, frame rates. What are you doing to me? Okay, hang on. Uh, okay, we have more coming from this side now too. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not sure I can delay this much, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. We'll bring that car that way. Um, these guys are in. We should be able to shoot them from where they are. I'll see if I can't pull some of them away from the with the truck. Here we go. There we go. Come get the truck, bitches. All right, how are we doing with this, guys? Can I, can I delay? Yep, we'll bring this up this way. You could have you could have turned earlier, I swear you could have. Uh-huh. All right. So this horde should be should be down. We've got vision with almost 3. Let's just bring you a little bit closer. There we go. You should be able to attack that now. Get this truck over here and this I'm just going to have you go straight past it just to see if you can draw that away. I need to focus on this vehicle over here. Uh we're going to go we're going to turn around and go this way. We have these guys now pulling forward, so we're going to have to bring this down. Oh, my God. This, this car is choosing the worst possible pathing. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Okay. So, I mean, without the cars distracting, we would be getting completely swarmed and overrun right now. Like, they would be in our base everywhere right now with this wall being down. That is absurd. I'm going to take the car this direction. No, not... Thank you. All right. I need to focus on the vehicles before I lose them. So I'm going to head this way first. Again, just, just trying to delay those guys from showing up so we can deal with them later. I want a little bits at a time here. All right. I need to deal with little, little pods at a time if I can. All right. So 
this truck here let's see if we can't pull some of them to come down towards this gate over here instead of this opening and then uh where's this car where's my car over here so we've got also these guys incoming and they look like they're headed towards this they will most likely take that tower down it is not repaired so we might lose that tower but it does delay them a little bit we'll head no you dumb shit go between the buildings if you can please I wish they would there'd be a command I, I want a command for truck for cars to choose for them oh there is off-road alt okay good I didn't even see that there is an alt command for saying go off-road okay Whew. never mind uh it's all my fault <laughs> all my fault I was like I want a command where I can tell them go in a straight line regardless of terrain yeah that's that's what that is cool all right so yeah the only job this car has is just keeping these guys away from us that's it I need to deal with these guys uh first so this truck is gonna head this direction please please head this direction oh boy yep why are you not shooting guys oh my god the assault rifles are out of ammo receiving <sighs> shit closest ammo source is I guess HQ Waiting orders. Waiting all right orders. well Operator. everybody Operator. get closer I guess get closer to get them Receiving. truck Receiving. go that way uh mm, that way going there. pull them away from us pull them away shoot 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 On my way. all right that's not part there. of the swarm that's attacking us it's just extras <laughs> so that's fine uh you head this direction please yep yep I know they got inside but we're taking care of it all right we got a nice wall of bullets coming towards them now I don't think I can pull these guys away so like that's just something that we're doing here um I don't have workers anywhere else except for the barns so I say I pull them away from the barns uh come on pull them out of the nope just that barn Wow. Okay. Create a squad here. So at least the HQ can defend itself. Ready for Not well. Am I, I'm out of guns is what it is. Yeah. I need to have more guns. Well, uh, we lost that tower. Where are the people in that tower? I mean, are they dead? Cause my, my count is still 91. Oh, I have scavengers. Oh, silly <laughs> I have scavengers okay I have a whole bunch of people that I could have brought in all right um let's say yeah I don't use this menu enough I I, I do things a lot very manual if uh and you could totally do this way smarter than I do right if we do another playthrough with a new version that would be something I would try to improve on would be to oh there we go yep pull them away there we go perfect so they're coming after the car now perfect all right we want to get these guys I need to get some of these guys ammo so let's bring you out not you you can disband it I don't trust that yeah we're gonna get everyone who's got assault rifles let's go get you guys reloaded I mean if I really wanted to micromanage it I would just take this one person out of the squad and have them go reload right I would just do this and then have this squad same thing I would say split go here all right and then I would have these assault rifles move towards the gate have this one move towards the gate have you move towards the gate and then the ones that are single pods which I don't know where they are but I would move them differently all right let's take off-road that direction and then the truck we're gonna bring down here See if we can split them up a little bit more. Let's do it. On my way. Come get my truck. Come get it. It's right here. Come get it. There you go. Come this way. There you go. Everybody shoot. All right. Now, where are my squads? You go reload. And you guys are back behind the wall. Hopefully, I don't know if this counts as in front of the wall because again, I've lost people, so I don't. I, I, I see squads that have been split at some point. I don't know what that means for me. So let's back up behind the wall here. I know they're pillaging a building. That was I, hopefully it's a building that can defend itself. That was the point. Truck move this way again. Just trying to delay them hitting the wall so I can get little bits at a time and delay until daytime so that I can repair and we'll be good to go here. So let's pull them this way. There we go. Car 
head over here first and then this way <laughs> no head this way first and then this way okay good so you can hold shift to queue up the command and alt at the same time to force it off road good all right so let's head this direction i want them to come down towards the gate if possible that tower is going to pull some of them that's good are you kidding me <laughs> this game just wants to kill me right now i think the game is saying hey if you did you didn't update yet i can tell <laughs> let me persuade you <laughs> let me just you see if i can't persuade you to update is what this game is saying oh my gosh all right so we're getting daytime and daytime means that we're going to be saved i think let's get everybody inside and get ready to disband here so that we can fix the wall and get ourselves set up for another round we don't have a whole lot of ammunition left but we got something let's get inside and get out and shoot all right now this pod's coming so we're gonna want to kite them if po oh, we're out of ammo here so retreat back to hq everybody else is out of ammo yeah we have one one person left with ammo and honestly it's wait are they retreating yeah they're retreating they're trying to get out of the daylight this is good we want them in the daytime see so they're taking damage in the light this is what we want to see taking damage in the light where's my truck i brought the truck in didn't i i did bring the truck in yeah it's right here i brought the it's right underneath this pod uh so this vehicle this car right we're gonna have this car come on in yep just bring it in so they are retreating now they are not trying to get away or they are trying to get away but look at this this is nonsense <laughs> that was so many holy moly this is no joke man like they really this is not at all an infection free zone yeah just everybody disbands so that we can get laborers on the wall as fast as possible um i don't really think i need to repair this tower unless not tonight they're all over here we can see them they're all over here and now i have the ability to at least go to some of these buildings hopefully they spread out into different buildings but like this one here i can take it during the day this one here i can take it during the day during the day this one i'm going to leave alone because there's too many of them in there i can probably do this one and uh we'll get again a whole bunch of our laborers back here so that we can make some repairs uh we definitely need some repairs so on that wall is a big priority hopefully they can get on that soon uh this gate held its own really well this gate has no damage to it which is great because well we're gonna need that um we'll staff the towers after we've gotten everything we need here so let's just reassess where we want people to be for the day um more fuel would be helpful so let's get people back on fuel um i do want to see we can it's one person we can get the weather report um let's make sure we're still cooking got 10 meat there and 48 wood so i'm thinking let's make sure we got a full team of cooks because we're not going out to scavenge today so we're going to want to make sure that we're cooking as much as possible all right there we go shoot him all right this building is very stacked now so all right so uh we're gonna just we don't want to disband everyone but we do want to disband those who have no ammo so now we have a new squad here that's got the assault rifles we're gonna bring those in and these three are gonna start clearing buildings while everyone else does other things um we do have somebody on repairs here yes it looks like it yes okay for the remainders then I think what I want to do because this is I think this is sorely needed and I don't think we'll get it done in time but I'm going to try it we're going to get another tower put in like right here I want it to cover both of the I want it to be able to defend like two different structures like this kind of thing right but it's on this side I think that kind of matters more right now so I'm going to take and go like this with this one right here and we're going to get five more people working on that today i don't think they'll finish it today but i'm gonna have them work on it anyway um we have six more people left make sure we have the farms full and you have the cookhouse the two cookhouses are full uh, let's get people in the barn at least a couple in each one just to help generate that meat some more 
And I think that's kind of all we can have. We'll disband this squad so we can have more people on meat. All right. So that's that's good for now. That's going to put everybody to work. So we've got three squads that are going to go clear some of these buildings. I think we'll we'll clear this one. Wait, was it this one? I forget which one it was, but I know we can clear these three pretty well. So that's going to take some of it out as well as this one. Receiving. Receiving. Report. All right. So we'll get everybody way. grouped up. On my way. There we go. And then Roger. On my way. let's go in Roger. and take these guys down. Attack. This house is infected. That one's pretty straightforward. Reporting. Okay. Ready for Bring you guys over here. here. We'll attack the next one. We'll do as many as we can, or at least many as we're comfortable with, which is these three right here. This one's pretty extreme. I can maybe go in and out and just make sure I don't put too many in there. But, I, the, you know, the, the more we can take out during the day, the less we have to worry about potentially having, you know, issues with our wall and stuff later. So let's go we'll come around the building and take this one out now. It's already 930. All right, bring it over here. Yeah, we'll just attack this one now. They are building that tower. I don't know if they're going to be able to build it in time, like I said, but. Let's do it. Get out. Go back in. Go back in. There we go. Go back in. Attack. There we go. Bring it over here. Come on now. And I think we're better off attacking this at night. Because um, they're all going to swarm out of here. I'll have a vehicle ready to split some off. And then we'll just have... Uh, Oops, that's not what I want to do. Right. Like that. Should be able to take them out with this one here right there. There we go. Okay. I think everybody else we can probably take at night, provided we can get the wall up, which is they're working on it. Um, I guess I could make one more squad and see if I can't take down one of these, but that's a lot of infected. And I think there's a whole bunch in this one too. So there's two buildings that are definitely occupied. There's probably a whole bunch that are occupied here too in small numbers because there was a bunch of pods. There was another bunch of individual groups over there as well. So I don't think we're done on that side either, but it's, I, I don't think I, when, when you try to repair something, it like makes it like a plan. It makes it like a blueprint. And it's, uh, it's not really what I want to do. Uh, I don't really want to make blueprints that way. We'll put, uh, I mean, I have the maximum number of people working on this tower, so. Yep, we'll just head back inside here, and uh, we'll have to wait till nighttime for these for these guys. I think. We're on the move. Reporting. Roger. We'll be in the truck waiting with these guys. The condition's not great, but it should be good enough to do what we need it to do. Uh, this one's better though. Operator, waiting orders. Going there. We should go and get, I don't want to drive a vehicle that's really slow. We need more resources. And, uh, I don't think the truck is super slow, but if it's too slow, then they'll catch it and that's no good. So I think I'd rather have, you know, the good truck and then just drive it well, as opposed to a shitty truck that I drive well, but it's still not fast enough. So we're going to bring this truck over here. We'll be ready for the nighttime there. Operator. Everybody else needs to get back right so that they have full Waiting ammunition orders. for the next day. Let's do it. Uh, these guys here, you know what? On we have way. time. Let's get a full ammunition on these guys too. Why not? Um, and in fact, maybe I will do just do a single driver in this. I, I like the idea of having a shooter so we can, you know, remotely, we can shoot them and then that will trigger them. Like that'll, uh, I believe the term is aggro. We can aggro them. Yeah. And uh, let's do it. That's been working out as as well as I could hope. Man, they are just not able to do this very fast, are they? They have all the resources super far away. If we were doing it on this side, they'd be it'd be much faster. So we may not finish this tower today. And we got all the resources delivered even? No, they're gonna need to do it one more time. Again, I wish I could do this with my squads. Bring the metal over here manually with my squads. I think that's something that the squads should be able to do. That's my opinion. All right, we're going to put uh, two people in the tower. Here we go. 
So get people ready to go there. Uh, everybody here is ammoed up and ready to go. We're going to have you guys sit back behind this. You're going to take the truck. Yep. And you're going to take... Uh, man, I don't know. I guess you'll take the other truck. You'll take the other truck, I guess. We might need two trucks to distract here, too. Sun is getting low. I think it's probably about time to pull people out of the cookhouse. There's only an hour left in this. Uh, how much time is it? 54 minutes for some fuel. We don't desperately need it, so we're fine. I'm going to pull you out of there. Uh, scavengers? I have nobody in scavenging anymore. <laughs> Nobody's scavenging because I pulled them all out last night. Uh, okay. Well, cookhouse is empty for the moment. Actually, hang on. Wait a minute. Uh, it's an hour away. Maybe we can get that meal to prop. I really need that meal to proc, actually. Come on. Come on, cookhouses. You got to go faster than this. Look, at they're not cooking meat. Yeah, they're just not. This isn't This isn't happening. It says an hour and 19 minutes, but they probably went the entire day without cooking. It's that, it's that no meat bug again. I, I just cannot figure out why they won't go get it. They just refuse to go get it. It's happening on both cookhouses. Because you need three meat. And like they're going back and forth, but they're not getting it. Like they're, they're, they're going back empty handed, right? And we have the meat in storage. It's right here, but they don't pull it. Um, and that, that causes us to lose. So we probably will lose anyway here because I'm, I'm out of food. Like, and we're going to have a whole bunch of people starving. So uh, it's that's probably what will happen. But we'll see. If we don't die to the horde, we can maybe try to correct it. You are out of ammo. Yeah, we are. We are completely out of ammunition, too. So I've got a member of this team that has no ammo. And so, uh, yeah, you're disbanded. Enjoy that. So these, these will be the squads that handle this tonight. We'll bring them up here. Bring them forward. Uh, this truck here will go on this side and this side. Let's do it. Yeah, and then this Waiting truck orders. will go on this side because we know we're going to have to run. And then we've got... We didn't get the tower done. We didn't get the wall done. None of this stuff is done in a day. They, I've made a joking comment uh, with somebody in the, in the comments before. It takes them an incredibly long time to do these things. Uh, this stuff takes way too long to build. Um, it, just, it just does. There's no reason why two people can't build a 10-foot wall in a day with bricks there's just no there's no excuse for that <laughs> other than like the the issue uh the the thing i gave them uh the the theory i gave commenter was that uh you know an experienced builder could should be able to do that one guy should be able to do that in a day an experienced builder but these guys these are not experienced builders right these are people who um actually you know what let's let's do this I'm going to try this instead. You get out and come over here. Yeah. And then you guys are going to do the same thing. I'm going to split the squad up too. And we're going to have these guys come inside as well. Over here. Yeah, over here. All right. Everybody's on the gate. Four on the gate. Uh, Two on that tower. Two on that tower. We do have some people coming from this side still. So we do want to keep an eye on that. And so I'm thinking probably that's what this truck's going to be doing today. All right. And then we just got to make sure that as soon as they pop out of this building, we're ready to respond because they're coming immediately. There they go. All right. Now, again, we want to see them hopefully go after the truck. Here we go. See if we can't pull them this direction, spread them out. Come on now. They're not going to come after the truck. Come on now. Come after the truck. Okay, okay, okay. Look at this. Just, there's just so many. <laughs> it's just so many. Every night. It's a, it's every night at this point, and there's just no time to recover. You know, the game has just does not provide enough time to recover. I'm going to head in a straight line this direction, and uh, maybe draw a few of them away. There we go. Draw a bunch of them this way, hopefully. All right, they're in. They're in the walls. They're in... They're in the zone. They're in our infection-free zone. So we're going to head this way with the truck. Let's back up. They are coming in from this side. So this is just an overwhelming force. There's just too many of them. 
At this point, it's like everyone fall back to HQ. I won't be able to kill them in time. The game simply gave me too many of them. And I, I will run out of ammo before I kill them all. I have no ammo in, in HQ right now, so... Like, all, all we have are what we have, right? I don't think I have enough ammunition to even destroy them. Even take them down. Um, some people have mentioned that I should go bow and arrow in the towers. And, like, that's a good sentiment, but at the end of the day, like, I need the damage anyway. Right? Like, if I if it saves me ammo, but it doesn't, because I still need some people shooting at these guys. Um, the bows, yes, that will provide some damage that's not being done by, you know, by a gun. So I do get some extra damage on that, but it's low. It's a low amount of damage. And if I was doing that much damage, if I was doing that low amount of damage, it is very likely that every structure that I use bow and arrows with at this point would die. But again, that is one of those things where maybe that's a misplay. Maybe that's not... Uh, everyone should be focusing on this. Shoot this pod. All right. So this tower probably falls. Um, we want, we want to get over there to help that. God, I just cannot select the entire squad. I want to draw boxes so bad. I think a strategy game like this, um, and I mostly say this stuff because I know the devs have been watching. I, they don't, that doesn't always happen, but sometimes they come into the comments and they're like, Hey, you know, they just say hi. And when that, when that happens, I tend to make a few comments more on what I'd like to see in the future. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not good. So this door is going to fall. This one's going to fall after a lot of DPS. Um, we're going to have this truck head this direction really quick. Yep, we're going to have this truck do this. Uh, this truck here, we're going to bring it over here just to see if I can't distract this pod over here. I want to distract them, see if I can't bring them away. Uh, probably not. All right, everybody's going to have to retreat to HQ. Yeah, they're in. Get get inside. There's not a whole lot I can do about this. Other than using the truck to pull them away, that's about all I can do here. So I got some vehicles that are able to do some things, but otherwise, not really. Yep, these guys, were got, these guys got pulled. That's something. But see, they're coming right after us here, and there's not a lot I can do about it. Come right straight across here. See if we can hit them. They're they're hitting us. They're just getting they're just getting hits. Okay, we got inside. We at least got inside in time. But like you know, these guys are gonna do good work over there. That's great. Um, if these guys do head this direction, maybe these towers will pull them. Um, obviously, we still have the people in the truck, which I'm still going to try to use to pull these pull these squads away, pull these hordes away. I need them to get away from HQ so that we can focus them down, but we are out of ammo, so there's not a lot to do here. And there's more bug reports. I, I feel like I feel like a new start with a new map, guys. What do you think? With a new version, maybe there will be uh, you know less bugs to worry about. Less. <laughs> they said rebalanced. I'm hoping that's what this is. <laughs> uh, I think actually I did lose this truck over here. Yeah, I got 89 people, so I, I did abandon this truck. Unfortunately, I missed that up. Uh, there is there is some ammunition over there, though. So let's see if I can't use this truck. Pull them over by the fence, right? That's good. Pull them over here. Try to try to separate them still. But I'm gonna, I'll need to go over and get the ammunition from this uh, truck. Move this way, please. Just just try to distract. Try to be annoying. There we go. Bring them, bring them towards HQ. If we can, did I get the ammo? I got the ammo. Come back to come back to HQ. Bring that, bring the ammo over here so we can use it. Come on, come on, truck. Do your thing. This this tower is really it's holding its own. No way. There's even more. I think that I actually think that's just a wandering pod. So I think this is the end of the horde. Like the big swarm. I want to say this is probably the end of it. Let's pull them off the gate if I can. There we go. Yep, pull them this way. Bring them towards HQ. And then I want to get out of the truck. No. It, uh, fine. All right, hang on. Get out of the truck. And take the stuff with you. 
take the stuff. We're on the move. You won't. I don't think you'll do it. Pickup truck. Bring bullets, which I cannot do. I can't. I can't do that. All right. So the only way to do this is to just is to do this, which is going to require the truck to come back here and then walk in. Uh, okay then. Let's do it. That's what they're gonna do. And I don't want them to do that. So, for the time being, we're not gonna have that ammo. I'm gonna leverage as much as I can on this tower until it's until now the tower's out of ammo. Yeah, the tower can't help us anymore. So, we want to pull as many out of this as we can. The gate, as many off the gate as we can. There we go. Just pull a few over. Pull you guys over here. Come on. Come this way. Come on, bring him into HQ so that we can kill him. Hopefully. Shoot. No bullets. Yep, I know. There we go. There we go. Out of ammo, I know. Let's get you inside. This truck's going to continue. I'm doing what I can here. This actually might... This might have hold... The, it's not going to hold the line now. If I switch to bow and arrow now, maybe, maybe they'll do it now. Uh waiting orders. Let's do it. On my way. On my way. We're on the move. Come on. On my way. Oh my gosh, they might actually do it. Oh that it, the, the gate stands. On my way. The gate stands. Oh my god. Roger. That was crazy. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Somehow we have more there's more coming in but like somehow Operator. no ammo yep no ammo uh-huh uh-huh yep everybody's empty <laughs> we have three guns with ammunition that's it three guns have ammo i mean if there's another swarm we're, we're just it's just gg right if they if they hit us with another one we're just done right that's that's how that works pretty sure I mean, I guess we're going melee weapons now. <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll take this this group out. Take this group out. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, exchange with this group. And uh, we'll just do this. Yeah, there's three people with guns. Nobody else has ammunition, so it's this is it. We just kind of come over here as fast as we can. Grab a car. Grab a car. So we can hopefully save this building. It'd be nice to save that building. Grab a car. There we go. Pull them. And I don't want to. I don't really want to bring them back to HQ per se, because we don't really have a whole lot for weapons that way. But hey, we'll just do the the bow and arrow thing that everyone wanted until we come over here. This tower should have some ammo. Guys, guys, we did it. We survived the horde. I lost two people. That's just because in all the craziness that happened, I just, I, I, I messed up and I forgot about this truck and that's what happened. So they, they broke in and they killed two people. Um, but other than that, um, minimal losses other than that, like, the, like realistically, what did we lose, lose, right? We lost the metal gate. Which I guess the wall exists within the gate. Uh, what? I don't know. But there's ammo in here too. <laughs> I could have got that ammo crate in there. Uh, yeah, so we lost this gate. Um, you know, in, uh, over the last couple of days anyway. We, we lost this. Obviously, we lost this one too. We never got this one built. Although that would have been really helpful if we had. We didn't lose this gate, but it definitely needs some major repairs. And uh, and we lost two people and then all of our ammunition, Reporting. pretty much. And that's, that's the ball game. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if, if it gives me like a couple years before it does this to me again, I can probably recover. But at this point, I have very little ammo and I have to scavenge. Rick, I, I've got to go out here and, and get canned food and everything. Um, otherwise, everyone's going to starve today, right? I mean, we have no ammo. 
no ammo. I mean, these are all basically unarmed people at this point, and some of them are wounded. Yep. So we need to we need to get them into the hospital too, if possible. So we'll ha we'll get the squad in the hospital as well. Uh, so I guess we take the station wagon, and it's very little fuel that it has. Um, we could also actually, you know what? We really should do is go get this. We have a little bit of ammo, and there's a couple guns here, so we we could recover some of this. I don't know. We might be okay. I say this, I say this with a big old smile on my face. We might be okay. Like this actually could be acceptable. We want lots of meat, and then again, the cookhouses really aren't working, but I'll I'll get them in there just in case. Receiving. And then these guys will hopefully heal in the bed, right? It says two hours twenty four minutes. Can they Wait heal at it. night? I don't think they can, right? Because there's got to be a person working there. I, I, that's another thing that I don't care for. They don't work at night. That part's a little weird to me. You're inside a cookhouse. There's not really a fundamental difference in your safety between being in this cookhouse and being in your bunks here. It's not really all that different. If you were going underground during the night, that would be different, but you're not. In fact, you're discontent accelerates and, and raises when you're underground. So you want to be in a structure like this. And again, there's no practical reason why, the, the, again, the, why they would feel more safe in this building, which has less health. I'll just add, not that it matters for the game's coding, but it does. It has less health than being in the cookhouse, right? Like that should be something that th they should be working here is what I'm saying. Like we should be able to work during the night. Uh, as well, in my opinion. Reporting. But regardless, so let's bring these let's weapons in and the ammo. We'll Reporting. get that going. And then now that we have the weapons and ammo in the in there, we can try to replenish the squad. We're on the move. If it works, but it doesn't work, right there it goes. And it won't work because there's nobody to replenish. Right, I need to have one person out so I can do that. There we go. All right, slight wound on you. That's not that big of a deal. Uh, this is the truck with the best condition, so we'll take this. And uh, we need people working this stuff too, don't we? So let's say that this cookhouse has a little, few less people in it. And uh, we can take people off of this. We can take people off of this. This needs repaired. It's going to require repair. So now it's this blueprint that can be easily traversed now. Uh, but we can try to do that too. As mo as many people as possible on that. Still going to build this. And then once that's built, uh, you know, we can then rebuild this one. Uh, this one has weapons and stuff in it too. So I could also grab that. I, I think let's do that first. Let's grab the ammunition just in case they come back. We're going to grab an exchange with the tower, which I can't do. So how do I get the ammo off of this? Do I just drive through it or going there? No, there's, there's weapons in here, but I have to be able to exchange with it, right? Get out, exchange with building. No, I can't get it. So how do I get this ammo? You know, I guess we can try to repair both. Does it drop it to the ground now or? No, it's I'm repairing and I may have actually lost it. We'll have to see. So a better system for exchanging stuff between squads would be great. Having items that are in inventory, being able to drop them without having a squad interfere would be great. Like this right here, being able to just drop this on the ground right now would be a really welcome feature so that I can go get it. Ready for action. You know, Going there. just my idea, yo. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have them, a squad such as it is, I'm going to have them go ahead and see about getting as many of these buildings as possible today in hopes that we get something to allow us to survive, right? That's what those guys are going to do over there. They're going to go that way and do that. Um, everybody else is focusing on repairs. We should have enough resources to do that. 
right? We got over 460 brick, so we, we don't need brick for any of these repairs, though, except for the walls. And we should have, you know, two people, again, should be able to do that easily. I think the biggest reason or the biggest reason why they don't build this very fast is because they have to walk so far to get the brick, right? So this is why it could be meaningful to have many small warehouses instead of just like one big one. So having one over here and then having another one on like one of these could have been a warehouse. And then maybe if we, if I had kept like this giant building, maybe I could have kept it and put it like a portion of it in the warehouse. Uh, another thing that people have said, right, is like for partial ad adaptation, right? So when you're looking at par partial adaptation, let's say that I wanted, you know, I need an arms factory, which I could totally get if I had people working on this, right? Unlocks the arms factory. We could do that now. We have enough research to do that now. And I don't have a whole lot of people that can research it. I guess if I unstaff them from someplace else, I don't even know if that's going to work. We'll do that instead. Uh, but I could like take some of this and make it a tool factory, some of this and make it an arms factory, etc. That's something that, you know, people have talked about doing. I haven't tried it, of course, because you guys haven't seen me try it yet. Um, but I've also heard, and I don't know which one's correct, so I, I'm open to trying it maybe uh, in the next video, depending on whether we go, you know, with a new start or whether we stick with this one in the old version. But I, I've also heard that you can't partially adapt a building and then adapt it to a different purpose and then adapt it to a different purpose. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, right? I, I don't know why that would be a thing that it would, that would prohibit, but you know, I mean, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. It's like, I would do, I would do like a cookhouse and barn combo kind of thing. So that the meat is already in here. That's what I'm thinking right now is like having a cookhouse and a barn in there so that we could have many chickens and then as soon as the meat prop props into the inventory of this building it's just automatically ready to cook that would be wonderful if that was possible um but the biggest thing i think this game needs and i'm kind of i know i'm paused right now i think the biggest thing that would really help for this game is in addition to stability i want a greenhouse somebody else has also made this comment already i, I want a greenhouse right i want a structure that i can build which leads me to the final thing. I want to build structures. We have wood, we have steel, we have brick. We have all the basic building blocks of a building. We got them from tearing down buildings. Surely we should be able to build our own buildings, right? I want to be able to do that. If I cleared this area because I wanted a wide open area for shots, you know, um, but that didn't happen. It didn't ultimately didn't happen, um, right? Like the thing I was regionally doing this for is, is totally not how it happened. Um, but like also more farmland would be great. Right. And that farmland would be really helpful, but greenhouses in this area, building those would be better because then those greenhouses could operate in the winter time. One thing we need though, in order to make greenhouses make sense, because otherwise it doesn't make sense to me. Greenhouses would require electricity. Cookhouses don't require electricity. You can burn wood for it, right? Which is what we're doing. The the chemical plant, we're pretty much just, you know, I, I would assume we're burning wood, but we don't, it doesn't look like we have to, right? So how does the chemical plant operate without power, right? The barns, that those don't need power, right? Barns don't need power. I would think a tool factory would, you know, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, unless we're, again, I guess we're burning wood for this too. Um, you know, burn wood hot enough to, to melt the steel and shape it and stuff, I guess. Hammers and such. Um, you know, research center. Like, most of these structures, it's feasible. Like where I'm getting at here, most of these structures, it is feasible to assume that they could function without electricity. But I don't agree that a greenhouse could do the same. A greenhouse, especially if it's going to function in the wintertime, would need electricity. Which brings me to my final point, and I hope that the tech tree gets improved over time the tech tree needs well more <laughs> it's just too simple and uh learning how to use electricity which i would certainly think the antenna would require i guess that would be the only thing um but like how is the power where is power coming from in an apocalypse like this the power plant shut down you don't get electricity 
All right, so everything that works here has to work right now without electricity. And I'm just thinking out loud, uh, expanding to new technologies that require electricity and allowing us to improve efficiency. For example, we can cook way faster if we upgrade our cookhouses, allow me to upgrade existing buildings, wink, wink, right? Like this shelter, for example, it's a shelter. I could hit repair, but I cannot, I can de-adapt the building. So I can like, I guess, pull resources and unadapt the building and then readapt it. I feel like that process should just be in addition to this button showing up, which maybe the new version has that. Um, like being able to just do it instead of having to wait for a de-adapt just to commit the resources once more into an adaption of another purpose. Just let me switch to that purpose and, you know, like have the workers save a lot of time that way, especially if like if the new building requires 40 wood. If I'm going to de-adapt this and get 38 wood for it, why don't you just let me readapt the new one for like 10 wood? You know, make it cost more, sure, but like I can do it right away. I think that would be a fantastic idea, but that's just me. I'm just like spitballing my ideas at the end of the video right now, right? So anyway, I love your faces. Thanks for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. This series, the, the, the first video for this series broke a record on my channel. Um, it was able to get to 100,000 views faster than any other video has gotten to 100,000 views. I, I, I did not see that coming for this, for this game. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Like of all the games I've played, this is the one where it's done that, right? It's crazy. But yeah, uh, we managed to get to 100,000 views in less than 13 days. It joins a list, an exclusive, very, very, uh, not really exclusive, I guess, but it, it joins a, a, a very rare assortment of videos on my channel. I think there's only like, I think like 25 or so, maybe that are above 100,000. So, uh, and you did it in 13 days. Crazy. Uh, I would love to play. I'd love to play an updated version that has a whole bunch of other stuff in there. So Ready let me know your thoughts on that. Do we do we continue with this one and see if we can save it? Because I mean, maybe I feel like we're about to have a whole bunch of people starve, right? Because like this is but I also feel like there's probably I say this with no certainty whatsoever. Probably no more swarms going to hit going to hit us. Um, we just haven't had any indication that there's more swarms coming. So there's that. So we might be able to pull this off. We might be able to continue this. Uh, it's just going to require a lot of canned food initially until we can get the cookhouses functioning. But that's the, the elephant in the room is will the cookhouses function? Because they are not. This has been running all day and it is not cooking because they don't go get the meat that's in here. They're just not getting it. I have to do it with a squad. In order to do it, I have to come over here and say, look, there's meat here. And pull this meat with this squad. Going there. Bring it over to this cookhouse because these guys won't do it. Right? Two hours and 17 minutes is what it says. And then once these guys are in, Receiving. I have to exchange with the building and put the meat in the cookhouse. And then at that point, the cookhouse will begin to cook the meat. So the bug is not the cook is the cookhouses aren't cooking. The bug is the cookhouses are not going and replenishing their supply of the things they need to cook the meat. They'll do it with which like straight up from the farms, right? I've, I've seen them do it from the from this. Um, I, I don't I don't see a problem with this, but that is a problem. One thing I, I think could help this give me the option to do so, which maybe this is too complicated. I get it. Um, but I would really like it if we could have products brought directly to refining facilities, right? Like have metal brought directly to the tool factory until it's full and then dump the excess in warehouse or something. Have us bring meat directly to the cookhouses. That kind of stuff would be great. Probably need refrigeration or something. I don't know. I mean, we have, we have warehouses and stuff. I know food probably goes bad, but I haven't seen that happen at all. If it does, then it doesn't doesn't notify me when it does. But you know, seventy six people starving. That's the problem right now. So I want to say that it's possible we could save this, but it's it's improbable. 
we might just want to start over so anyway i've dragged this on long enough thank you for watching i appreciate you let me know your thoughts below i'll read them and then uh, we'll decide from there bye bye